<coughs> hey guys, it's Alex Allgood from Broad Productions, and today I'm going to show you how to make sick uh, slow motion effects in Sony Vegas. I think of these as as um, effects used in the movie 300. I'm sure you guys have seen that, and uh, it's where you can zoom in really fast on on someone's face, and then and then a slow mo on their face, and then go really fast to another face, and then you know you can do a lot with this. You can use it for really anything. But it makes really cool effects and it looks really, really professional if you do it right. Here's an example. Come on. Now I know that's not the best example. That is, that, that is actually a clip from uh, Space Robots 2. I know... The trailer said it was going to come out in January 2009, but, you know, <laughs> who watches the trailers anyway, am I right? Am I right? Yeah. Okay, I'll be here all week. Um, oh, God, I'm such a loser. Okay, but that's from Space Robots 2. Should be out in a month or two. Make sure to check it out. Uh, the link for the trailer is right here. Check that one out. All right, here we go. So, <clears throat> let's get started. You're going to pull in your footage, any footage you want. I'm just going to pull this in. This is from another video. Link is I'm probably gonna upload right there. Yeah, to check it out. Okay, so we got this. Now on the footage you want to you want to slow mo, I guess. Uh, you're gonna click it where it's all blue or purple, whatever that color is. I'm not very good at this. Oh well. And then you're gonna go to the top. Go to insert video envelope envelopes envelopes or envelopes. I don't know envelopes and go to event velocity. Now this funky green line comes up and you're like, what the crap? There's a green line in my video, but no, it's not what it's for. All right, <clears throat> this ba green line basically represents you're in real time right now. If you go, if you grab the square and go down, that means you're you're slowing down the video. And I'm pretty sure, actually, at one point, it makes the video go backwards. I don't know, but um, if you double click the box, it'll bring you back to normal real time. And then obviously, if you go up, it'll speed speed it up. You can actually tell if you look right here. The little, the little diagonal, the cut line in the video is where the video stops, or like that video ends and loops itself. So you know you're speeding it up. And, and see, I'm pretty sure it speeds it up <clears throat> times 12, or either times 3, pretty sure times 12. But um, <clears throat> to do slow mo, you're going to have to go through your video. Easy way to do this is click Alt, Control, Shift. And with your mouse wheel, you can scroll frame by frame so you know exactly where you're going. Now, I don't have the right video to do this, but I'm just using this as an example. So we're going to have it sped up in the beginning. So we're going to do that. And you're going to double click on the green line. And that brings up another square. And with that square, you can move it up and down and wherever you want. But we're going to put it right here. And remember, if you double click these, it brings it back to zero, normal time. So, <clears throat> but we're going to go down and we're going to keep it sped up. And then at one point, whatever point this is, when like you get on someone's face or something, we're going to get this and bring it down. I wouldn't bring it all the way down because you don't want it that slow. And you can make another square just, to, just so you keep that little straightness so it stays slow. And then you make another square. Oh, it's like geometry all over again. Um, and then we're going to slide that back up to, to, to fast mode, I guess. And then we're going to click it again and again. And you keep on doing this till you get your desired effect. Now, there you go. That's really all it is. Um, you can see a lot of people do this. Actually, I don't. I honestly don't think uh, the lower ends of Vegas, like like nine, or not nine, but um, the the movie studio versions. Um, I don't think it has the velocity envelope. Um, I think only Pro does. But that doesn't matter because you can still get kind of sort of the same effect. You can cheat it, and and get the same effect. How to do that is if you have Movie Studio, you're gonna go in your video and you're gonna select it and click, go to the place where you wanna go to slow to fast, and you can click S, and that splits your video. Then you can click Alt, Control, Shift again, find the next frame you want, click S again, from where you want the slow mode to stop, and you're good. Now, if we're gonna say the small clip right here is the slow mo part, I'm gonna drag this out, click Control, and drag it out however slow you want and that slows the video down um, and then you can get like these these two and then speed these up and then put it right there and then get your other video and then 
control and then shift it down so it speeds up and then do that over and over again until you get your effect um and that should work if you have movie studio i don't know if it has the velocity envelope if it does i'm wasting time oh well um but yeah that's that's really all it is to it there's there's a lot more you can do to it from here i'm just giving you the the idea of it and uh, i hope this really helped you um um yeah i guess that's it you know just be creative think of your own things and you should be set because there's so much you can do with this i use it all the time it can make the coolest effect look even cool did i just say coolest sounds like i said kool-aid ists i don't know that was weird oh well so i hope you guys liked it um make sure to check out space robots too it's gonna be the best film you've ever seen you're probably probably gonna have to watch Watch the Lonely Island's Jizz in My Pants video. We all know that one. Jizz in my pants. Because that's what you're going to do when, basically when you watch Space Robots 2. It's going to be that awesome. Lightsabers, the whole shebang. So, subscribe, stay updated. A lot more tutorials to come. And like always, make a video response if you like this tutorial and if you used it. I would love to see the work you guys get from this. This has been awesome. <laughs> all right. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to message me. I'll answer you back ASAP. All right. Hope you guys liked it. See ya.